What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we are back in American Truck Simulator. I want to thank everyone for all the love and support on this series. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more daily gaming content. we got some stuff lined up for you today, folks. Because I'd be chilling in the parking lot of Kenworth, baby. That's right. We're going to go shopping. We're shopping for a new ride. We have 169000 dollars And we are looking for a second purchase and I've already picked it out oh yeah oh yeah now what does this have the, this 300 gallons oh fuel tank 220 gallons that's where that extra grand goes crimson red lapis blue 13 speed it's all the same except for a bigger gas tank which we will need because we're traveling long distances let's do it we can always paint it something different we can always pay something different. Always. And I'm not trading it in. I'm purchasing it. Do you want to drive your new truck? Yes. Yes, I would like to drive my new truck. Uh, where do you wish to send your current truck? Uh, to Los Angeles. Go over to the garage. And then pick a target slot. That's where it goes. Boom. We have purchased our second truck. Oh. Aren't you pretty? Going to old school, baby. Nice. All I need now is some like epic music. Some like epic like wub wubs. Wow 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 wow. Very cool looking man. Now how does she drive? Probably like a tank. But she's pretty. And that's all that matters. That's all that matters, folks. Look at us. Look at a happy birthday to me. I want to thank everyone for all the well wishes as well. It's been a good time. I had a fun time yesterday. It's going to work. <laughs> that's what. Oh, you purr like a kitten. <laughs> and your horn is weak. Got a little sunroof right here in case we get a little. Feel like getting a little tan on our arms or on one side of our face. Good stuff. All right, now this is gonna be so weird. Oh, the sound of the engine. Whee, whee! Got ourselves a Kenworth, baby. Now I know that Kenworth and Peterbilt are pretty much owned by the same company. Not even pretty much. I think that is a thing. Oh, this is gonna be so weird, especially when you're, you know, it has that kind of new, has that new truck smell. It has that new truck smell. Now you know how, like, whenever you uh, got a full tank of gas. Fantastic. So, this is going to be so weird driving this thing. Let's go ahead and let's take a little rest. Oh, and we're getting charged. We need to get a we need to get a new. We only have nine thousand dollars. We need ourselves a new job. Hopefully, one that'll take us over to Los Angeles. Over to Los Angeles, lands of the fruits on us. Seventy percent of all the roads have been explored. Fantastic. That is that's just that's just wonderful. Oh, we got a burger. Ah, oh, it's nowhere near a town. Oh, but a helicopter to Carlsbad. That's close enough to Los Angeles. You know what? That's close enough. Got this good takes to Phoenix. Carlsbad, 31,000. We could use the cash. We need it. Set the GPS location. Location. And we off. Before we start upgrading this jaw, we are definitely going to need to get ourselves some cash. Some sweet, sweet cash. Sweet, sweet cash. Alright. Oh, this is definitely going to take some getting used to. <laughs> yeah, the side mirrors are a little different. The blind spots are a little weird. Just like getting a new car. You gotta, you gotta feel it out. You gotta try it out try it out like I tell every single comic that comes up to me with a new joke hey I got this idea for a premise for a bit all right let's hear it and then they sell they, they tell it to me it's usually awful and I just go hey man try it out you don't know until you try it out and they're like screw you man screw you ask for you for your advice I'm giving you my advice man it's uh it's an okay joke it might work it might not it's probably gonna need some rewriting just throwing that out there. It's not an insult. It happens to everyone. 
Oh, you red bastige. Oh, okay, you're just gonna stop in the middle of the road like that? Then I'm going. The AI in this game. They decide when they want to when they want to stop, when they want to go. When they're losing control. Alright. So now our next thing that we are going to try and uh, try and do is we gotta pay off our loan. But at the same time, see if we can get ourselves another truck. But the reason why I'm going to try and get to, uh, close to Los Angeles is get a recruiting agency, hire another driver, make a little extra cash on the side from a driver. Hopefully, he's responsible. A responsible driver. We all hope that they are. Let's put on the lights. Oh, yeah. But I mean, in the meantime, we're just going to have to, uh, you know, we got to accessorize this baby. we got to accessorize this job. Must be done. It must be done. 30 miles an hour. I can't drive 30 miles an hour. What are you at your brain? It's such a pretty game. It's such a very, very pretty game. Now, if you've never uh, seen my American Truck Simulator series, this is where I kind of sit down and have a little chat with you about some stuff coming up to the channel, uh, as well as uh, things in my real life. Have a little, have a little sit down, have a little chat while we drive, you know, kind of like a little podcast. Uh, just stuck behind all these clowns. <coughs> Excuse me. Move or lose it there, old timer. Hey, copper. Got casinos. We are in Nevada, and we're going. We rolling. Wooey! Oh, you're handsome. You're so pretty. I like you. We're driving into the sun. Okay, okay, okay. It's a little, a little fast. A little fast. It's a little fast. A little fast. Where is this place? Come on. Come on, Nevada. Gotta get to Los Angeles. Gotta get to California. I have a I have an audition. I have an audition, I have a spot. Got lots to do, lots to do. Busy beaver, busy beaver, busy beaver. I don't know so very nice of them to give me a full tank of gas. That's always nice. Seventy miles per hour, now that's the ticket. That's the speed that I like to get it down to. Two minutes. Perfect. It's the only thing at the end of this road. Let's check out this helicopter. Mm-hmm. We're checking out this helicopter. Oh, slow down. Oh, Nelly. Going a little, get a little too fast for our britches there. Eh? Eh? Oh, yeah. That's looking nice. That's looking real nice. So, after this mission, we'll have enough cash in the bank to go ahead and possibly just, you know, pay for a little paint job. Maybe a little skin action. I still haven't messed around with the skin editor. Uh, gotta create my own custom one. It has to be done. This needs to be done in our lives. Enter. Okay. What we got here? What we got? What we got? Yes. We have a giant donut again. Got a big pipe. Or a helicopter for 31000 Yeah, we're taking that job. I want to haul a helicopter. It seems like a really good time. Now, the only thing that sucks about this kind of area is that it's really hard to get stuff out because see you gotta go per you gotta be perfect along this which is a giant pain in the butt so hopefully we can get this thing out because it's a it's a giant pain in the ass it really is oh I just bought this thing sorry buddy Pardon me. Hello. Okay. Can't see around this thing. Let's move around. We're looking good. Now, how do you get this thing out of this joint? All right. 
Now the real test. <laughs> Try, trying to get this thing out. Uh, Man, this is going to be rough. This is going to be real rough. I hate, I hate this area. This pickup area. Pick up and let down because of, like I was saying before, this right here. It's almost like a way station, kind of. And there's rails. Now, with these oversized loads, these trailers really, really suck. Because if you are a little bit too close, you fail. See, like, watch, we're gonna fail. This is gonna be a task to try and get this out. No, see? I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Ugh. Come on. And then you're running into stuff. Come on, full speed. Come on. Come on, it's just a railing. You can make it over to the railing. Alrighty. And I'm back. Okay. Just had to call for roadside assistance for the first time for that. If you hit F7, your little thing pops up like, would you like to have roadside assistance? And I'm like, yeah, I was completely 100% stuck. Was not going anywhere. Thank you, oversized load and terrible driving. Thank you. <laughs> Just a, like, okay, for one, <clears throat> for one, I do have an excuse. When it comes to that particular loading area, it sucks. Because you have to get perfectly on the rails, and you can never drive the thing perfectly on the rails unless you're like a true expert, and if you are, God love you. But when it comes to uh, me and an oversized, I'm, I'm hauling a helicopter out of this thing, and... See like this? See like this? I have plenty of space. I have plenty of space. And then... If you're ever so close, it will stop your ride. So that's the one thing about the oversight, the overweight load, the trailers, the hitbox, I guess. I guess the hitbox? I guess the hitbox? Is a little wide. And, uh... It stretches beyond its means. That's even a real thing. Well, that was an interesting little uh, little beginning to our to our adventure, to our trip. Now that we're like 15 minutes into, <laughs> into everything. Oh goodness. <clears throat> so, hello. Okay. Let's get onto the road, and we're off to California. We're going through the country, gonna go to California. Very good. 80 miles an hour. I like that kind of speed. I'm a big fan of that. Big fan of that. So, with some news that's happening on my channel, uh, my channel's going VR, son. It's happening. The the, uh, the package was supposed to come yesterday on my birthday, but unfortunately, uh, I was at work, and the FedEx guy was like, "We're not gonna leave this on the doorstep for anyone to just grab. You have to sign for it. So, just go to the store." I'm like, alright, cool, so I have to go to the FedEx store after work today. Pick it up and set it up. And I've already got, like, five games to come along with it. The bundle for the uh, HTC 5. Please, pull vehicle inspection. Oh, gotta go to the way station. Gosh dang it. Stop at every turn here. Stop at every turn. So, yeah. It comes with four games. And, uh, I had a, a YouTube buddy. Oh, have they, oh, oh, don't pass it. There we go. Have you two, buddy, send me uh, a key for another game. So I got like five games to choose from. It's craziness. I can't wait. Can't wait. I, as far as space goes, they asked for like a two meter by one and a half meter. What? Oh, come on, man. <sighs> we got to watch those now. We're a little light in, we're a little light in the load when it comes to our wallet. Yes. Um, so, uh, Job Simulator is one of them. Uh, there's this other building game that comes along with it. Which is alright. Which I, you know, which I. It's getting mixed reviews. I'll check it out. Um, what else does it come with? Like a paintbrush kind of thing where you can go ahead and paint, paint a, a masterpiece in VR. And Project Cars. Now, I don't know if anyone remembers my, my stint in Project Cars. Uh, it was a fun little racing game. Uh, I played it on my old computer when my old computer was kind of dog crap. Um, 
and the frames would drop because it's a very highly detailed racing game. I was playing out around with the card series. I won a couple card championships because I'm dope. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Um, but they have it for a VR setup, so I'm like, ah, oh, I think I'm gonna have to try this. Uh, second one is Cosmic Trip, which is uh, which was given to me. So I was like, oh, thank you. Happy happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. You know what to me. So yeah, so we definitely gotta check all those out. And there's so many different titles coming out uh, for VR that it doesn't seem like it's something that's going to not be on my channel, especially if I just keep on keeping on. Hey there, buddy. Okay. It's going to be a wide turn. It's going to need a wide berth. Oh, there we go. Like a mouse. Taking that time. Speaking about YouTube and YouTubers, when I woke up this morning, uh, got a little uh, hangout and talk to a lot of YouTubers, things like that, and the, uh, the purge happened when it comes to YouTube subs. Now, for those of you who are not YouTubers, you might not understand this, but if uh, you uh, are just a casual fan and you're not really uh, sure about what happens in the YouTube game, um, I would, I'd be getting like a surge, like a surge of subscribers coming to my channel. And then I'm noticing a couple other YouTubers are talking about how they're about to get a purge. I can feel it happening because they, they, they're getting tons of they're getting a, they're a nice, nice little subscriber boost to their to their channel. And they're like, there's got to be, there's got to be a bunch of fake accounts. There's got to be. And I'm like, ah, oh, it's gonna be a shame. Well, the purge happened last night. Happy birthday to me. And I lost over a thousand subscribers. All fake accounts. Every single YouTuber. Every single one of us. We're all talking, we're all like, dude, how many did you lose? How many did you lose? How many did you lose? I'm like, oh, wow, I lost over a thousand, so now I'm back below 60k, which is kind of a downer. But you know what? Why do we fall, Mr. Bean? So we can learn. We can learn to pick ourselves back up again. So, no big deal. It's kind of a bummer, kind of a drag, but I'm confident. I'm confident that we can get back up to 60,000. That was my birthday goal. I wanted to be like, all right, we're over 60,000. I was about to hit 61,000, and then, uh, brings me back down. Back down to reality. Yes. Now, I wonder how long we can go on this brand new ride. Hmm. So, uh, games that are coming. A lot of VR stuff coming as well. Um, there's new games coming out every single week for VR, too. So, uh, Valve Corp has stated they got like 350 employees, and they have stated that one third of their entire company is devoted to nothing but VR. I'm like, all right, well, there's going to be games. There's going to be games coming out for it, so why why not? Why not try to mess around with it? The area that I have, though, like I was saying, two meters by one and a half meters, I have about a good four by, like, five foot area that I've cleared out, which I think is going to be fine. Probably not. I'm probably going to have some issues with bumping into stuff. I can feel it. I know it's going to happen. I'm kind of a big guy, too. Like, I'm not... I'm a, I'm a broad-shouldered man likes to lift heavy things. I pick things up and lift them. I lift things up and put them down. La la. Um, so it could be an issue, but I'm, I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna give it a whirl. I think it'll be fine though. I think it'll be fine. If not, we'll just have to clear out some more space. I'm gonna have to clear out some space in my little office area. Um, as far as putting a camera on me while I'm doing the VR, uh, that's probably not gonna happen because because <laughs> my space here is really tweet like a twigger and. Uh, it's messy. It's a real messy, messy joint. Um, I'm practically in my laundry room, my office here. I, I do my laundry uh, right next door, and then I fold everything, and all the laundry is folded up. Next to me, I'm a futon over here, because me and my wife have a lot of clothes. I don't have a lot of clothes. My wife has a lot of clothes. And I just have a whole bunch of folded up t-shirts and shorts and jeans and, like, work polos and <laughs> crap like that, but it's all, like, folded nice and neatly. Unless I just did a load of laundry, then I just piled it on top of it, and I'm like, I'll get to folding that later. I'll get to folding that later. So yeah, my uh, my office is like a mixture of a laundry room slash extra storage space, because I live in kind of like a, I wouldn't say it's a row home, it's a condo for the most part. It's a, it's a, it's a two bedroom apartment with stairs. That's really about all it is. So the second room is just, it's a laundry, storage, and diesel. Yay! Don't throw me out with the trash. So, 
There's a couple things in this uh, area that could possibly go to. There's a lot of stuff that my wife likes to keep. She's kind of like a little pack rat. So she uh, holds on to to everything. Everything has some sort of sentimental value. And I get that, but not everything has sentimental value. <laughs> not everything. Not everything. No matter what she tries to tell me. Well, this is the book that I read back when I was in seventh grade, and it was a really good book, and I had a good time, and my mom used to, you know, she used to read a couple of pages. Okay, that's cool. What's all this other stuff, though? Oh, this is just stuff from my youth. Like these pair of shorts? Yeah, I remember those shorts. You ever going to wear them again? Probably not. So we can we can donate these, right? We can donate these to. I don't know. Let's hold on to it for a little bit. Oh yeah, let's just reminisce of all the old shorts. This is like me complaining about my wife. No big deal. No big deal. <laughs> no big deal. It's gonna be fine. Uh, we had an oh oh train. Hello. Oh, we're just hit, we're just hitting all the fun stuff here. <clears throat> hitting all the fun stuff. One car. One car? This could be worse. I don't know. It's kind of. It's, I was kind of disappointed. I wanted to see a train. I wanted to see a big train. We can count the cars. But it was not meant to be. So, as far as games come to the channel and uh, things going away, um, I know I haven't done a Planet Coaster in like a week. That game, it's. It's an interesting game because. There's so many different things you can do with all the modular building in the game, and then you realize that like when once you're playing it for three hours, you realize you just built a wall, and you're like, oh, how am I gonna make an episode? How am I gonna make an episode? My problem is, is that once I get into it, it's in there. <coughs> once I get into it, it's done, and I gotta I gotta keep on going until it's done. You know, five hours into the into the build, and I realize I just built two sides of a wall, some palm trees, I'm like, gonna try and maximize my time here somehow, somewhere, gotta have a plan, gotta have a plan. So I have a plan, and I started building on some of the stuff, and I'm trying to get it into an episode, uh, it's time lapsey, very time, it's very pitchy, very pitchy dog, very time lapsey. So we'll see, don't you dare copper, I'm gonna be making a turn, that's not making no more turns on me. Very good, very good indeed. Very good. So yeah, that's the reason why the Planet Coaster hasn't come out. Plus, with my birthday, I only had one episode yesterday. It was a cool episode. Some dude made an a replica Fiat 126P from uh, it's it brought back nightmares of my Car Mechanic Simulator 2015 Maluch, just nightmare of trying to put together and restore one of those things and. Uh, kind of nice. It's kind of nice. And the guy did a real good job on it. Um, just I was like, oh, this is pretty fantastic. I gotta show people this. Happy birthday to me. And all the well wishes. All the Facebook. I, I don't like going on. I'm not a Facebook person to say. But I go on there just to see apparently what the news feed is and how many people are hateful. Um, Facebook's a weird one. It is. It seems like there's more videos and more like memes being shared on Facebook than just like posts about like, hey, I got this going on. Oh, okay. okay. It just seems to be like a, a little laugh factory and a place to gather knowledge, which is actually uh, not a bad site. It's not a bad. I don't, I don't mind it. Of course, Twitters. Follow me on the Twitters at Diesel Designs MC. But as far as uh, Car Mechanic Simulator 2015, got a new episode probably coming out tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, I love you tomorrow, um, and possibly a VR game. I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure yet. I gotta sit down and I gotta see if it works. It'll be one of those things where it'll be really weird to try and do. Um, I'm pretty sure that racing game, the uh, Project Cars, is gonna be easy to record because, I mean, you're sitting down. So I guess I would just be able to sit down and not stand. But I was I would assume I would assume that but everything else is kind of standing around and kind of you know in your own negative space in in your own space so we shall see we'll see tonight I'll tell you what I'll tell you what 
it's gonna be a fun time because when I record these videos, I record at like three o'clock in the morning. So right now it is about three thirty, three thirty, three forty-five, some junk, some junk like that. So when it comes to uh, oh. come on, slow down, slow your roll, slow your roll. We're in, we're in Pioche. Pioche. That's your Hawaiian name. What does it mean? It means Pete. Um, since I record at 3 o'clock in the morning, I'm worried that when I pop a VR set on and uh, start getting, that, getting after it, you know, as, I, as, I, as I'm one to do, that in the middle of the night I'm just going to be like, Hiya! Hiya! Huh! Oh! And just like running into stuff. And my wife going, What are you doing in there? Do you know what time it is? Yeah, sorry. Oh, look at little Pioche. They're getting festive over here. Fourth of July is coming up. Hope everyone's safe. Hope everyone's handy dandy. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to be making a quick cut because we're going to have to stop someplace and get some, some rest, some sleep. And we've knocked off about six and a half hours of this drive time, but we got about 14 and a half. These particular long trips it can be taxing, but not very fun to watch. So, what I will do is I will make a quick cut here when we're getting a little bit closer, just a little bit closer to the destination, and then that way we can get after it and be done with our little trip. So, folks, I will be right back in a hot second. We got our helicopter here and our wide load. So, we'll be back in a hot, hot minute. Okay? Okay. And we're back. On a lonesome, winding road. But we're only two hours and 28 minutes away, so that's a good thing. Woo! I'll tell you what. The the, uh, the long trips in this, I like them. They're very calming, they're very soothing, but then right towards the end, you're just like, oh my god, where is the end of this? Where? Why are they taking me around this back road? And then I realize I'm going to Carlsbad. Of course, there's nothing There's nothing around there. <laughs> I think the town in California, it's amazing the the uh, the places in California that are just desolate. You don't want to visit. I think Carlsbad may be one of them. Not to uh, diss on anyone who lives in Carlsbad. Just saying. I'm sure it's a very nice town. I'm just talking some ish. Boom. So, yes. Been driving around here. Everything is everything. Chicken wing. You know what I'm saying? Two and a half hours. Maybe we can go uh, find a recruiting agency. I don't know how open they will be because our estimated arrival time is four o'clock in the morning. So I have a feeling I might pop asleep and see if there's a recruitment agency or if I have to drive to one. I'm pretty sure I'll have to drive to one. Which would be lame. That would be lame. I don't know. If he, can he fast travel? I wonder if he can fast travel. I think he can. I think he can fast travel. I haven't tried it yet. But maybe worth it. Um. If we can fast travel to Los Angeles. Watch out there. Little wide turn there. Little wide turn. Don't you be going around me, car. Don't you thinking? I know what you're thinking. You best not be thinking what you're thinking because you're not going around me. I have a wide load. In real life and in game. Oh, Shizzle, he said it. So, um, when it comes to the channel and all the different games coming out uh, for VR, it's going to be pretty fantastic. I have a feeling that we're going to have some fun. Hopefully I don't get sick. Hopefully I don't get seasick. <laughs> That'd be a real bummer. I was even thinking about popping in, uh, just taking the computer downstairs and then having my wife try it out so she's just like, ah, yeah, this is pretty cool. This is pretty spiffy. Because I have a feeling if she comes up here in my little office area and tries it out for the first time, it's going to be a real mess. It's going to be a real real problem. A real task. A real trial. But I think we'll do it. There we are. We're in Carlsbad now. Woo-wee! Man, got an hour and three minutes left. A couple, couple of miles. We already have 766 miles on this engine, according to the the odometer down below. It's the first time I've ever like really noticed the dashboard and like showing the mileage on our ride. It seems like that'd be a lot more than 700 miles. But you know what? I don't do maths good. I don't do math, maths, and maths. Arithmetics, all that hot. All right, we're gonna have to slow down here. Gonna take the highway. 
Watch out there, RV. We're gonna be moving along. There we go. So yeah, very cool. Um, I'm also a fan of tabletop racing. I've been playing that game a bunch, and I'm really a big fan of it. I like the kind of Micro Machines aspect along with the Mario Kart aspect, too. I mean, you can't go wrong, really, when you think about it. It's, it's like a perfect mesh. So I've been playing a lot of that, and that's just going to be something we're going to be checking out on our channel here until we get to the championship, because there's so many cool cars. It's actually like pretty cool how many cars that they have licensed from different... Uh, different manufacturers from Ford Mustang all the way up to Bugatti Veyrons to um, Ferraris and even Mini Coopers which is what I'll be driving in the next episode later on today ta -da! let's see here anyone coming? any traffic? nope pretty set go now I wonder if this has a VR aspect to it. It seems like it probably might. Moving left to right from left to right. Bum, ba -da -dum, ba -dum. But I think we'll just keep it the way I think we'll keep it the way it, it is at the moment, to be honest with you. I think it'll be fine. Alright, let's go ahead. And we are here. And if you think I'm parking this, you're out of your mind. It's simple. This looks like it could be a simple one. No, this ain't, ain't going to be no simple one. Hello? What's we doing there? Oh, right there? Yeah, we'll just do that right there. I think we can do that. I think we can pull that off. Yes, I hope so. I hope so. There we go. Stop. Stop. And there we are. Helicopter delivered. Reasonable. Let me tell you what reasonable is. Damage penalty. Yeah. Got a lot of that. And that was probably just trying. <laughs> that's probably me just trying to get out of Elko. Whatever. Whatever, clever. Okay. All right. Let's hop on in this joint. Let's turn everything off. Let's turn everything off. Okay. Let's head on into the recruitment agency. Let's find ourselves someone who's a decent man. Driver rating 1.7. Jeez. Got some real crap drivers. It's a lot coming from me. Patricia Max M. Looks like a serial killer. He can travel on distances. He's got good fuel economy. Big fan of that. Travel on distances. Good fuel economy. Got some lady drivers, 173 plus a little per mile. Seems like the best one we have here is Jock Yoke, Yoke H. I don't know. Robo P sounds like he looks like a good old American boy. I will take you what? Got a Cabela's hat on. I can get down with that. Hey Bridget, hey Bridget, what's going on? Been looking at your resume here, and you're quite uh, the talented worker. I'm just messing around. I'm playing. I'm playing. Ooh, look at this. Asking wage 175. It's gotten a little expensive, but he can he can handle heavy cargo. For our services, we only charge a modest fee of twelve hundred dollars for each driver you hire. We offer a selection of highly professional drivers. We hire. Okay. All right, Bor Boris. Hello, my name is Boris. I'm invincible. All right, let's hire a driver, Boris. Your driver will arrive shortly, and after they get settled, they will start working automatically, providing they have a truck to drive. They do have a truck to drive. MT Cougar. Oh, where were you before, man? I'll tell you what there, Bridget. I'll be back for you. Don't you worry. All right, folks. We have our driver. We have a brand new ride. Oh, yeah. Looking sexy. Looking pretty. We got to upgrade you. We really, really do. So we got a new truck. We got a new driver. We got a new... Uh, business our business is now spreading it's blooming we're gonna be earning extra cash so uh let me know what you think about this uh video in the comment section down below and make sure you hit that like button it helps my channel out ever so much more than you know and if you like this video a whole lot go ahead hit subscribe new videos are coming out every single day every single week folks huh, huh, huh.
<laughs> oh my god. Have a great day, afternoon, evening, good night. Peace out, like shout y'all, and I will check you out right here again in American Truck Simulator next time.